What's up guys, it's the Simmons and today I'm bringing you a Tomahawk tutorial video. This has got to be the fifth time I've done this damn commentary because I don't know how to talk to like a screen. Yeah, I'm just a scrub. <laughs> I, I, I've done this literally five times guys. I, I only put out the best stuff for you and that's why I've done it so many times. But some of you guys that have been with me since the beginning are probably like, Simon. Simmons, whatever, I've seen this video before, why is it on your channel again? Well, to be honest, this is a Tomahawk tutorial video, so I thought that it would be appropriate if I put up a video of me just owning noobs on, what do you call it, sticks and stones. And so tip number one is take the throw, because you never know when you'll get a random, luck, not random, but a lucky bank shot on, well, look at this kid, this, you never know when you get a lucky bank shot on noobs that are just like trying to swim. I don't know what this guy was doing, he's like humping on the ground or something. Uh, but, yeah, this was all one match that I had in Search and Destroy, so I got a couple nice clips that could go well with the tomahawking tips, and the next one is aim fast, aim high. So, like there, like if I, probably in another split second I would have died because that person would have put that extra bullet into me if you just snap right like snap right to the aiming little reticle thingy then you're good another tip is if you're gonna go like if you're going for tomahawk kills use the ballistic knife because see right there like the little aiming reticle for the ballistic knife was already on that and makes it that much easier like if you're using like a regular gun you don't have that little center reticle that you have right here on the ballistic knife so yeah what i was doing was i decided to make a tomahawk tutorial video and I went into combat training. This kid just blew himself up with a car in combat training. That's just, Turk is some cheese. But anyways, I wanted to go into combat training. I know you guys might hate on me for that, but, wow, I just, my stepdad talking to me? Fuck you. Uh, anyways, oh, get owned, and then I follow him right after. So I, I, I'm still just beginning this whole commentating thing. I'm gonna talk about that later. So I get really off focus. I'm, I think I have ADHD, but I haven't diagnosed with it. You never know. I can't even remember what I was gonna fucking say. I suck! Oh my god, but anyways, this is a good clip coming up, so I'm not gonna talk. This kid gets owned. So is this kid. So is this kid. So is this kid. And then I get owned. But anyways, oh yeah. I'll uh, do combat training, even though I get uh, like a lot of hate for it. Because it's like, oh, this is combat training. You can't do this shit in regular games. It's like, I fucking know that. I can't do this in a regular game. Put that camera away, son. What are you doing? Next tip, don't hold down the reticle. That's what happens when you hold down the reticle. A lot of people like to hold down the reticle when they're like purposely, when they have the intention of like tomahawking someone, they're like, they're just looking around holding the reticle. Like I just snap to it and I throw like, uh, uh, uh. I don't hold it down. Like that's me, that's my preference. I mean, it's not gonna work for everyone, but for me, I just know where the tomahawk reticle is. See, I'm just straight up owning these kids. It's combat training, Simon. Yeah, I know, but still, I don't hold it down because that extra millisecond will get you killed. This kid, I don't even know. Bad fail on my part, but even worse on his. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to get the certain scenarios down for, or the tips for you guys, uh, so I could like, like here, jump. When, like I jump when I tomahawk from long distances. I didn't hit that one because I sucked, but. When I see someone far away, I just jump to compensate for the fact that I don't have to aim up. Because when I aim up, I either aim like too high like, or too low. So when I jump, it just makes it that much easier because there's like drop on the tomahawk. It doesn't just like fucking go straight. But yeah, tomahawking aside, I wanted to talk about my commentary. Uh, I'm a new thing. Um, uh, my channel is like a month old and... For those of you that have been with me since the beginning or are still with me, I want to thank you personally. Uh, it really means a lot to me. Um, but I've been watching my videos. Like I went back and I watched my videos because I do that. I watch my videos that I put out for you guys. Because you know, my voice is really monotonous and it, that doesn't go well with commentating on YouTube. So what I'm trying to do is just be me because that's what uh, YouTube commentators are, that's how they get big. They don't talk with a broomstick up their ass just saying stuff that they write on the script i mean i used to do that i tried to i, I worked so hard but i realized you know you need to be natural and that's how commentators get big because they don't read stuff off the page and 
pre-write it beforehand, and so I'm not going to do that anymore. I'm going to just give you guys just straight up commentary. If you guys don't like it, please let me know, because I will go back to writing stuff down, but I feel like it's more natural, and that's more entertaining for you guys. Like, I don't want to like like this the whole time and sound like a noob. I hope you guys, I want you guys to enjoy it, because uh, I got a comment on a video a while ago saying, oh, you should check out El Presador, uh, like this YouTube commentator. And he's like, he doesn't have the best game, but his commentary is really funny, and commentary is key. So I was like, alright, I'll check him out. And I did, and he posted a 3 and 16 gameplay, and he, it's probably one of my favorite videos on YouTube right now. That's how good it is. So, like, I learned a lot from that video. Like, commentating is everything. It's not all about gameplay. And I can't bring you guys 40 in 1 gameplay. I'm not, I'm not that good. So I'm just going to work on, like, funny clips, because that's what I do. I like to have fun with the game. That's what I think my channel is all about, just having fun with the game. Um, like, I just put out that Splinter Cell video. It wasn't mine, but it was uh, Kill Tank 54's version. Like, he edited it, and I made it my featured video. I get owned right here by the car. Ah! Oh, it was too early. Whatever. But yeah, I've been trying to be more natural. Uh, if you guys want me to go back to being monotonous, let me know, because I can easily do that. That's what I, I'm pretty good at doing that. But if my videos aren't entertaining, I really apologize. I am trying my best for you guys. Like, you guys have given me such great feedback on my videos. You know, I'm about to hit 60 subs. Talking about that, uh, the giveaway is going to take place in this video. I hit 50 subs last week. I have 58 now. And before I announce the winner, I want to say thank you again. This kid gets turned on for you guys because you support me. You guys, I love you guys. You guys are so, so nice to me. Uh, but congratulations to da -da 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 -da, Patriot uh, something Patriot Patriots Rule 98 for you have won 1600 Microsoft points and if you did not win please don't get discouraged the next giveaway is at 100 subs so you basically have a one in a hundred chance of winning these are clips um, which we call it from regular matches and I this was a match where I got two random tomahawks in one game. And, you know, it's on Summit. And Summit is just like a two choke points across the map. I mean, you're bound to get random Tomahawks on Summit, so it's nothing special. But I got two in one game. So, is that, does that make up for it? I don't know. Let me know. This guy takes it in the face. Um, but, yeah, thank you, Patriot Leader. No, Patriot. Oh, my God. I don't even know your fucking name. Patriots Rule 98. I'm so sorry. Thank you for being an active subscriber on my channel. He's been, he's been like the, the little, what do you call it, what's the word for it? The ideal subscriber on my channel. Like he always comments on my videos. I don't know if he likes them, but he's been always giving me positive feedback. Like he told me that I wasn't even that bad at commentating when I didn't even believe that myself. And that really means a lot. Um, so I thought it was nice that he won. I'm happy for him. Uh, I hope that you guys, I can't, like I said, I can't make everyone win the giveaway, and I wish I could. Um, if I had more money, I would. <laughs> but, like I said, don't get, dis don't get discouraged. There will be more giveaways, as long as you guys keep subscribing. And right here, I just, it's not tomahawking, but it was in the same game. I just owned the shit out of all of them. Uh, and then I get a random tomahawk that was in the middle of the game, because most random tomahawks, are probably 90% at the beginning of a match because that's when everyone's all clumped up together and that's really the, you have the best chance of getting a random tomahawk but this was in the middle of a match and I feel like it's a lot more credit worthy than those first two um, then after this there's like a 360 tomahawk to win the game on combat training it's combat training so it doesn't count but it's still nice so I put it up I don't know what the hell that he was doing he was just standing there um, but yeah, I'm going to work on my speaking skills, or a lack of speaking skills thereof. I'm um, taking a public speaking class in college, just so I can get better for this. I mean, I am trying to put up the best stuff for you guys, and I'm really sorry if my, my commentating isn't the best. I am working on it. Believe me. I want to be better at it, and if you guys stick with me, I promise I'll get better. Uh, this video is about over. I got a 
the next clip is the final clip. It's a 360 tomahawk off the cliff of jungle in a wager match. Sticks and stones. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please let me know if the tips helped. You know, just go into combat training, put a tomahawk on that class, and just, just own. I mean, it's it's you'll get better at it. You just get a feel for the tomahawk. But thank you guys so much for watching. Please like the video if you enjoyed, and I'll see you.